On today's episodes of Railroads Online, we're going to be discussing the engine's updates after the recent beta addition to Steam. Um, we're going to go through a variety of engines and test them on grade. Let's get started. So moving on here, we're going to start off with the Porter Tier 2, heading up a grade zero in the starting area. It's going to give us a little run up into our into our levels. Each section is going to have a different grade. It's the length of one full wooden bridge. So we're going to be separated by a 0% grade run up area between each section and try to run the whole gamut of grade. And now we're hitting our 0% area. So you can see there's a small run up into the second area. Now we're on a 2% grade. to our flat run-up area. This is how the entire track will be run. We're going to skip some later in the future uh, just to save some time. We can tell pretty much all the engines will do 1, 2, and 3% grade for the most part. Um, here's our crossing. You can see our 80 car train underneath we're testing out for another video. We've got that running off of a Eureka, actually. I think at this point we've realized that the, the weight of the cars are just actually pushing the engine and it's not really doing anything except for going around in a circle but we'll talk more about that in the next episode probably run out of space i was hoping to get over the top of that mountain in that in that distance but uh it wasn't enough steep enough grade so i ended up having to loop the track back here we are in our run up um these each of these sections from here on out you'll have a a switch going into four percent here the switch is going to be for possible future testing we'll either test it as a downhill at that same grade so if it was a three percent and then we'll do three percent downhill all the way down to ground uh and or maybe another like four and a half percent up instead of the four percent i haven't quite decided how i want to make the track it's handling four percent really well here back on level i deleted the bridges just to keep us so we can have a nice level view of the track at some spots Going up 5%. Again, this is only if you're on the current beta version as of January 2022. So if you're watching this later on, things have probably changed quite a bit. Now we're going on full regulator as we start getting into the steeper mountains. Put our reverser all the way up. We'll even throw the sander on here. Uh, just in case. Maybe it'll give us a little extra traction. Going on right before the seven percent i think it is yeah seven percent coming up i notice i put my little labels on the tracks to remind me
level grade. Now we're going to try to go up an 8% grade around this corner here. In fact, I think some of the audio issues were when I was cutting out uh, people talking in the background as I was on Discord when I originally filmed this. So I may have repeated some of the sounds just, just to uh, fill in the content over there commentary because it was uh, some of it inappropriate but that's discord for you so all right we're on zero percent here coming around to nine percent you can really hear the audio clip right about here yeah so that's it that's just me cutting a sound out doing a filler here all right nine percent grade And then over here, I'm going to cut in the previous version at the same grade. So on the left is our current version, and on the right is our standard version. Passing about the same spots, pretty close to the same amount of time. You can see the one on the right is already going a little slower. The older version, standard version, I guess you'd call it, now hitting the 10% grade at about the same time. The right side, you can see really bogging down here. The wheel's starting to slow down coming up to a stall. So it's making it up at 10% grade, but only for a short distance. This one on the left is going the full length. This is a two, the 10% grade is almost two full length bridges to finish it off, just to see if it can clear it. The right side is now done and the beta version wins. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the brakes. All right. Everybody's a little curious about the hand car. So we've got the hand car going up our next route. I don't have much sound for it. It's very quiet. Ford could barely do 1% grade. Here we are cruising up 1% grade after the beta version. Coming up on level and heading for our 2% grade now. So it's, you can see it's quite a bit slower, uh, but slower than the um, the Porter is clear in these same distances, but it is pretty efficient actually. It's picked up some speed on level ground. I've actually had it lose track because it's going so fast and it's so lightweight. Now we're up at 2%, getting ready to go on 3% grade right about now. Originally, you can see it's a metal bridge. I had built a wooden bridge there for the full length, and then I put the metal bridge in here to decorate my overpass for this um, double track below. But here we are, the, the right side. We are unable to make a 3% grade at all. And the left side, we are clearing 3% just about now. So definitely some improvements in the in the power behind the uh, hand cart. You can get around pretty easily now. It's a great addition, especially when you're getting started and you're trying to get to the logging camps. You really only need a 3% grade or so to get there. So we got a little run up into the 4%. Run up, run up is, uh, allows us to build our flat speed. That way we're not going from a 3% directly to a 4%. We can test it sort of equally each you know, each section has a nice little flat spot to, to build up some speed. Man, this one we are going to maybe clear the 4%. Let's see here in just a second. We are starting to level out and we'll start building some speed. So we made it just to 4%, almost the full length of one bridge. Uh, but I wouldn't rely on that for your tracks. Now, things like curves, bumps in the track, stuff like that will definitely take away from the traction and the... You can see here, we've got a little run up into the five. We made it about halfway up the bridge. Yeah, you're looking about four to five percent can clear depending on the length of your grade. 
you're just doing a little rise, you'd probably be able to get up no problem. Just a little bit struggling here. Before you could see it was only about 2% was the max, maybe two and a half. Next up is a Eureka. This is now a tier two train. It used to be a tier four, I believe it was. We're gonna go ahead and start at 6%. show you from here on out. This is the the previous version. I'm going to go ahead and tag in the new version here. Let's see. So we're both here at 6%. Get ready to take 7%. 7% on the left. We're already ahead of the right side. A little bit of wobble around that track. Going on 8% grade here. You're starting to crawl just barely making it over the top. So that extra weight of the tender and the engine seems to be holding it back a little bit. Yeah, the, the new beta version just made it up 9%, and the the previous version, I had a little trouble trying to get it restarted here. I'm trying to recover it, uh, and let's go ahead and leave it there. So here we are, halfway up 9%. We've now made it up 10% on the, the new version here, easily 9% to be successful. Not quite up 10, so maybe 9 and a quarter. Here we are with the Cook Mogul. This is a fun little train. I kind of like this one myself. Let's go ahead and see what she can do. It's 7% grade. And then I'm going to tag in the other one here in just a second. So this is both on 7% grade. Again, if you're skipping forward, the left side is the beta version. And the right side is the, the standard version, depending on which one you're playing. The left side, the beta version has heavier cars, heavier engines. The powers was changed a little bit on it. And the, the right side was where everything was sort of, some people said it was too light. A lot of the cars were too light and stuff like that. So you'll see a difference in power between the two versions. heavier sometimes means more traction so even though the power might not have changed it has more weight on the tracks which then gives you more grip without having to use the sand and extra features like that so but on the other hand gravity works against you all right nine percent grid And we're struggling on the older version, but we're still cruising along at almost full speed on the beta. I'm trying to go in here on the, the older version. I'm still trying to learn how to drive these big ones up such a steep hill. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the brakes on and see if I can recover it from a stall. Ten percent grade. Again, this is the Cook Mogul. It's a pretty good little engine for 
how small it is. By itself, taking the grade, no problem so far. All right, we are cruising right up 10% grade with the engine and tender. And let's do a little bonus content here. This is what happens when you succeed. Get to trash the onion. Moving on to the climax, 6% grade we're starting off at. You can see my controls there at the bottom this time. Um, climax is kind of a fun train. I'm messing around with the regulator and the, the reverser to see if I can get the right power settings. The reversers probably should be in, in full percent. Again, I'm, I'm a bit of a noob at driving these up steep grades. And they're supposed to be changing the reverser settings to be more accurate where you would drive it at a lower rating. So right now, even though I have it set pretty low, it shouldn't make a difference too much of a difference in the in the performance of the game until they get it activated from what I am told. So at this point I should probably have my regulator in reverser in about full full to get it run up. I'm trying really I know this thing can handle the grades. What I'm trying to do here is is experiment with the different settings. One to keep the wheels from slipping and two to to try to keep it at a decent pace at the same time. So it's a it's an adjustment. It's like a fine balance you have to do powerful engine like the Climax and the Heislers, they're meant for steep grades, but if you give it too much power, well, it, it'll cause a lot of problems. So if you don't, if you're going full regulator, you could end up doing a lot of wheel slippage. I'll show you what I mean a little later on here. Let's go ahead and see where we're at at 8% grade. I'm going pretty slow up this thing, but I believe when I start adding cars, it'll hold quite a bit better on there. And you can see the difference. Not enough power on the right, too much power on the left. I'm slipping the wheels. So there's the difference right there between the power regulations. We'll go ahead and throw it on different settings and see if I can recover on this steep of a grade, which I know I can. It's a matter of how do you do it. This, it looks like I've got a low break. I'm going to go full regulator with just a little bit of reverser to help not put that much pressure on right away. And we recover really easily. I drop the brake down and we start taking off. Of course, your, your settings are going to change based on your load, how much weight you're pulling up the, the cliffside. Going to 10% grid. I feel like I've got a little slippage here on the straightaway. You can see it's, it's spinning quite a bit faster than the, the wheels should be turning. So I've got too much regulator on at this point. I'm going to throw the sander on, see if that helps. We're on our 10% grade now.
so um here's uh here's some more of me messing around with settings to show you some wheel clippage i thought you would uh, appreciate the the efforts here so <laughs> we're coming in i'm going to throw the brakes down a little bit throw the sander on let's go ahead and put on the regulator up more power you see we're starting to move what i would do now is take the brakes off we start gaining our power up and since our reverser is only at 43 percent it builds up slowly to full regulator and that's a good way to recover that i found on the hills so throwing my regulator off we're going to go ahead and put it into slippage mode as we're traveling back now if you've got too much power and you're slipping can you stop the engine so you're going to put your brakes on you're going to put your um if you need to do a johnson brake which would be full full reverser and then regulator up um, you can see i've got some power here even with the brakes on and still trying to overpower it so the climax can easily take this 10 percent grade coming up here i've already started realizing that it was going forward so let's have some fun again going full reverser forward yeah, this thing's a beast. It can handle pretty much anything we throw at it, even on 10% grid. So every time I do, I'm recovering it, pulling it straight uphill. Try it without the sander, see if it makes a difference. Still climbing, even at slow, slow regulator. All right, throwing it on full forward, turn the cylinder cocks on for fun, makes it look like the brakes are smoking. <laughs> I kind of enjoyed this. So this is what happens if you're trying to do too much power going uphill. I'm trying to go forward and the, the engine's trying to go backwards from gravity. So you're going to get some slippage. You need to work on those brakes and uh, try to be able to recover from it from an accident like this. So. <laughs> All right, moving on. The climax is easily 10%. No problems. The Heisler, same thing. 7% before the update. We're just cruising along. Heisler is one of my favorite engines by far. I love the look of it. It's great. I'm waiting for the Shays to come out. I actually got a ride on a, a Shay at the Cass Railroad in West Virginia one time. That was a lot of fun. They're really cool looking engines. Eight percent grade, no problems at all. And nine percent grade. This is again pre pre update, so you can kind of see even before the update this thing was a monster. We're able to come up hills, but you can see here we're bogging down just a little bit. Maybe a little bit too much slippage. I probably should have put the sander on to get me a little more traction. We'll do our 9% run up here. There you go. You can see I'm running full full power and I'm just slipping the wheels because it's just too much. If I had more of a load on there, it might work better. However, it's just the engine. So if you're running the engine in full power up this grade, it's just going to slip on you. You probably want to throw in some sander in there. You want to slow the engine down to go up the hill uh, instead of full regulator. So that's where you're going to have some problems there. I'm putting the sander on now to show you uh, and try and recover the the backwards slipping that I was doing. We're going to hit our brakes and let's go ahead and adjust our reverser to bring the power down. Again, we're still doing full regulator, so we're just slipping backwards at this point. I'll show you what happens when we take the 
regulator down a little bit. We're down to about 70%. We take the brakes off. And we're still slipping if we get the power up again. So no matter what you do, you got to get that, that wheel slippage down. How do you do that? Well, you're going to end up having to bring the regulator down a bit. try to recover so even on the pre-update the, the the engine's just too light or there's not enough load on there it makes it really difficult to recover on a, even a nine percent grade as you saw the climax do it on a 10 no problem i'm trying out a couple different settings and seeing if i can get it up up to the thing you can see we're starting to climb a little bit here but i don't have an, almost too much power still and the, the car is just I don't know, it's just not running quite right. And a little bit reverser and we start to recover. So we're letting the pressure in slowly with that reverser and we get a little bit of speed up. And that's allowing the, the amount of the steam through the through to the cylinders. Um even though we're still on full regulator, it's just going to build up slowly. But still, yeah, it's just too difficult to recover from. And here we go. A little bit more setting on our grid, and we are starting to climb again. So, yeah, we recovered it. We're getting up there, full reverser. And you can see here, we are now moving forward. So you get the right settings and you can recover on the 10% grade. It just takes a little bit more work, a little bit more finesse. Now, if I tag in the other one, after the beta version, we just go ahead and we'll take this 10% curve here. Even though the right side didn't have as much of a run up because it stopped, it's going to go ahead and we're starting on 9% here, and it's just flying through the extra weight. Pretty much the same settings. We're just going at it. So there's a couple different ways to balance it, depending on which version of the game you're running. And here we are just cruising up 10% grade. No problems at all. A little bit difference in the performance and between the two versions of the game so far. And they both win. They can both make it up 10%. It's just a matter of technique on how you do it. So. Next up on our list, the famous Class 70, one of everybody's favorites, large engine so far. We're getting a 6% grade. This one, the biggest problem with this one is it has quite a bit longer body, I guess you could say. Plus we're hauling a tender behind it. Is it able to haul these stuff up at 10% grade is the question, or at least 789 at this point, so we'll find out. As you come along and you're building your tracks, you do have to consider hauling bigger engines down the road. So don't make your curves too extremely sharp or you'll end up having some trouble. As you can see right here. Curve was too sharp, just a little niche. Snap the tender off and you're going to have to stop and pick up all your cars. If they're not all, you're rolling back downhill at this point. So your, your curves do make a difference. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick patch job here.
trying to find a snap point was kind of difficult. So. What I like to do here is make some surface area for the track to sit on at level, and then what I'll do is go ahead and place the track afterwards. We'll talk more about track technique in another video. But here we go. I built it. I'm going to delete a little bit more. And go back and tweak it out so it comes out to the right angles. I don't have any sharp snapping points. Delete all my excess stuff, and we've got our track. All right, so now I've got a nice smooth curve there, and we'll see if the beta version takes it here in just a second. In a little bit. Um, we're getting ready to start up. See how we do. So we did have a stall in there. We're going to try and push it up 8% right off the bat without too much of a run up. We go ahead a little bit of stall. We did have the power initially, but had I played with the settings a little bit more, I could have done it. So here we're going to try the same curve again, just to show you how narrow the curve is. You can see how smooth this newer track is. I took a little bit wider, didn't have that nice snap, kept the tender on. This is after the update. And of course we had the momentum to get up. The next section of track, 8%, plus the car is a little heavier, so we're getting a little more traction. Just cruising along, not even a stall. So. Could I have recovered the other version? Probably. Um, at that point, I think I was so frustrated with the track that I just wanted to get moving. Somebody with a little more experience could probably pull that train off. Uh, from a stall like that, but at that point I didn't have that that experience in here. So here we are, nine percent. And heading on to 10%, not even a stall, no bogging down at all. This thing's a beast. After the update, it's uh, it's got quite a lot of power. So we'll we'll um we'll be able to try it out with some more cars here at, at a future time. I'm not gonna do that right now, but um, there's different grades and calculations and stuff that could be made to show how many cars you can take. This is just to show you the performance of each engine and how well they do on grade. Here's a little bonus for you. Let's drive with class 70. Didn't quite make the ski jump, but did a lot better than the others. Nice heavy engine. I love it, class 70. And if you're interested in a little bit of outtakes, here's some fun stuff I had for you. Um, thought you would enjoy. Trying to re-rail the Heisler. Um, but if you don't have any way to get up there on the, the track, you probably want to make sure you have your brakes on before you release your engines. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are at the end of our episode. Thank you for watching our engine grade update. See you on the next episode.